Hi, I'm Jeannie. Welcome to my channel. Um, today's video is a very impromptu one. Uh, in fact, I haven't set up anything properly. I've just done it very, very quickly because um, today I went shopping. Yeah, that's the sound of my shopping falling on the floor. Um, ended up spending more than I thought I would in Primark and felt really guilty um, and I thought well to offload the guilt I should do a quick haul video um, especially when people on Twitter ask me what on earth have I bought that has cost me over £100 so I rushed home quickly set up my camera first time in this room so I don't know how good the lighting is um, and I'm going out tonight for dinner so I'm going to be really quick there's nothing rehearsed about this but I've just got to quickly retrieve what's fallen out of my bag oh my goodness Hello. Oh my god. Right. Oh, crikey. Right, I'm going to just go straight up surprisingly. I've got everything in one bag. It's, it's been a while since I've done a Primark haul. It was like two years, which is probably the last time I did do such a big um, shop. I, I mean, I do pop in between whenever I can. Not that often, but I'm just pick up a handful of pieces, but it's obviously not enough to warrant a uh, entire haul. So. I'm going to pick out things as and when they come out because you're all dying to know what's in it. Um, firstly, oh yeah, I've got to say, I went to the Watford Primark. I also picked up a couple of things from Oxford Street, let's be, let's be completely honest. Um, that was a few days ago. But um, Watford is my go-to Primark brunch because it's so, so nice. It's so chilled out there. Everything is laid out nicely. The makeup isn't a mess. Um, and I do think they tend to have more things there than say Oxford Street because I can walk around that place for a long time and still not find everything I want and in fact the things I bought today I did not see in Oxford Street. So firstly I went into the beauty section and I saw these fantastic makeup bags. I was like I don't have them both. I've got enough anyway but I like these ones so um, I may end up giving them away as a present to family or so. This one, it's, this is only three pounds, nice size. I just love the color. It's that kind of, um, I don't know what design you call it, but it's it's very nice. So yeah, whatever. Um, and there's a bigger one, which comes with two purses, two bags, sorry, one makeup bag and like an, an additional one, probably to stick in your handbag. This was only a fiver, five pounds. So yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's just get straight into it. I don't want to waste any time because nobody wants a long video. Um, Primark do this Pusheen range, which is, I'm not very familiar with, but I just think it's very cute and I think the name sounds a bit like my name. Um, so I'm going on holiday next month and I needed to get some t-shirts, which was the real reason why I went into Primark. I thought I'd pick up some tops because I need something baggy and casual to wear on my trip. Um, and I went for this one, the Mugical one. This is £8. I went up a size because I just want something a little bit loose and baggy. So this is very cute. Um, what else? I've got some couple more machine things which I will find. Well, there's one of them, some socks. They're socks. What else do you want to know about them? And then I got this snood, this peach and white one, which was four quid. Um, so I figured that would be nice to wear with spring coming up, whenever it gets here. Uh, got some tights. Yeah. And this, I saw, this kimono I saw on a mannequin and I have to say I don't try anything on in Primark, so I just hope for the best. Usually. I get it right, uh, but this is gorgeous. This is £15, a nice floral kimono, which will just hopefully cover up all the lumps and bumps I don't want. I was just checking I've got the right size. Um, yeah, there we have it. Um, some more, oh, these trousers are fab. I've got nice loose trousers. These are blue and white stripes. Well, it's actually black as well, I think. And uh, this was, £13. 
a little bit Beetlejuice is but you know I like the yeah I thought these will be great to take on holiday but I need elasticated that for my the size I'm in that um so yeah the real reason I went in loads of t-shirts this is very pretty um I like the sleeve detail on here these come in a variety of colours. I think there was grey, there was like mint green, peach, I believe. Um, and this was £4. So I'm sure these will be nice. Uh, another boring white t shirt. That isn't boring, but this one's boring. But can't go in with a white t shirt. What else have we got? <sighs> Sorry, I should slow down, shouldn't I? Um, this is very cute, a little red mini mouse t-shirt and this was four pounds, figured great one for holiday and then I can use it for the gym after when it gets washed too many times and starts to wear off because that is the trouble with Primark t-shirts. Um, some more vests which were about two pounds fifty. Not very exciting, so let's just skip past these. I'm throwing them out as and when I get them. Another t-shirt. Another couple of t-shirts again. Yep, just for the holiday. Um, another pair of pushing, not pair, three pairs of pushing socks, different design. Um, yeah, let's just, I should just put IE at the end. It'll be like she knew. Oh, now this. This is exciting. I haven't seen this anywhere else before. It's a lovely kind of tropical uh, maxi skirt. Uh, this was £10. So it's a little bit, I think, yeah, this is, uh, it's a little bit thin. Shall I say it's thin? I don't think it is too thin. Hopefully you won't be able to see my sparrow legs in it and my thunder thighs. Um, but I absolutely love the colour. This is just, I can't wait till we get some sunshine so I can wear it here. But um, this is going in the suitcase definitely. It's nice and lightweight. Um, maybe, yeah, I don't know where I wear it, but I'm definitely taking that with me. Um, I also picked up some trouser hangers just for keeping my trousers neatly in my wardrobe so I can find them, especially when they're black, because black is the hardest thing to find. Now, other things I got were beauty because I have recently become quite intrigued and a little bit obsessed with Primark Beauty. Um, I used to really turn my nose up at them but oh god they have turned things around and really up their game and one of my favourite products by them is a £2.50 foundation which I haven't got in front of me. I am wearing another one of their foundations at the moment um, which actually I can see from here. And that's the my perfect colour one. This was five pounds, um, and it's obviously a dupe or wannabe dupe of Estee Lauder's um, Double Wear. So I've had it on for about six hours. I'm really impressed. It wasn't great to apply actually. It did. I had to use quite a lot of product, and it took a while to blend. So I was uh, I was getting frustrated with that, but it seems to have settled and. Um, yeah, so far so good. I mean, I'm not going to ditch my double wear for it, but it's uh, nice to wear for every day if I feel like it, because it's only a fiver. But back to more beauty stuff. So I have, um, I picked up another one of the, the foundation I mentioned that I really like, the £2.50 one, which is my perfect colour one. And I've got a review on my blog, so I'll pop the link below. This is brilliant. £2.50. It is so good. So good. I'm so impressed with this. Um, and I've worn it all day in the past. Um, it's, I'm actually wearing it in my Beef and Birds vlog, the one before this. Um, yeah, I can't get over how good it is. So I had to pick up another one because I thought I don't know when I'll be going to Primark next. Um, I also got the eyeshadow primer which is two pounds I got this because Charlena swears by it and she's never wrong when it comes to any beauty product she's completely impartial she's you know 
bl bluntly honest if something isn't good she'll say so even if she's been sent a sample so I have trusted her every word and she's never got it wrong which actually the reason why I've invested why am I saying invested the reason why I bought the Primark foundation is because she says they're good and she's right and we are the same shade as well which really helps so I don't have to sit there swatching and trying to color match myself so I'm really looking forward to trying this um, if this is better than Urban Decay's primer potion then this could be a permanent fixture in my makeup bag um, more makeup uh, I got some uh, velvet matte lipstick uh, velvet matte lipstick crayons um, in various kind of similar shades this one I think is black cherry which is kind of a, like a nudie pink good for my skin tone I got dark berry which is a metallic one um, and what is this cocoa which is again reddish and another one wine so the name speaks for itself these were only two pounds each so I'm not going to turn my nose up at that and I needed a new pencil sharpener to do with things like that so this one it comes with three different no five different sizes so I'm surely I should be able to fit one of those pencils in there um yeah multi cosmetic sharpener but one pound fifty oh no nah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let this one pass by so I got that Another thing that Charlena recommended was this blender sponge. Um, I don't know if it's uh, any good, but you know, I'll give it a try. It's only two pounds for two sponges. It looks um, it looks very good actually. I've got to say the texture looks pretty impressive. So we'll see. We'll see. Got that, and finally, I got. A small size of the micellar cleansing water I've heard this is good I hope it's good I think maybe Selena might be a fan if not it was 90 pence um, and this is great for my travels for my holiday because I don't want to take anything big and bulky um, I have got the larger version which I still haven't used yet which is great but this is what I got and I saw this pretty gold dust highlighter I know you can't really see it on camera, but it's, uh, let's see if I can open it up, come on. I couldn't test it, there wasn't a tester available, so I just thought, chance it, it's only one pound fifty, and it looks, it looks pretty. So, I don't know, can you see there? It's a very, um, it's a golden colour, yeah. Let's see, sorry, my hands are really dry at the moment. You can tell I'm really rubbish at stuff like this. This is why I don't do beauty videos that much, because I suck. So hopefully you can see that. Sorry, I've got my light on, so it's probably blinding it. Double dimension highlighter powder, that's what it's called. And um, finally, I've got deep cleansing nose strips, um, a pound for four. I'm hoping these are the ones that Selena swears by. Um, but I thought I saw it, I'll chuck it in my basket. And I think that's it. That's got to be the quickest video. Oh, it's 13 minutes. That's got to be the quickest one I've done. I'm really sorry if I rambled through it. Um, I don't like to do lengthy videos. I thought no one wants to hear me talk for 45 minutes. But these are all part of the, like, the clothes I've just shown you, especially this skirt, is the new part of their new collection, new season. Um, so if you want it, get it now, or it'll be gone. Oh gosh, I can't wait to wear this. Um, yeah, really pleased with my haul. Uh, I really, I thought it was going to be up to £70, and it was just like over £100, 102 That's not including those makeup bags at the start. Um, so, but you know, I probably won't commit this crime for another two years, so hopefully I shouldn't be too bad. Um, I hope you enjoyed my rambles. I'm sorry it was so hurried, but yeah, time's getting on and I just wanted to get this out there quickly because people did ask me what I've got. I um, hope it's given you some inspiration um, and, you know, good luck in finding 
some of these items. I definitely think this is probably my recommended one if you can get it, if you like these kind of bright colours. Um, this is probably my favourite and those makeup bags are fab as well. Um, so that's the end of my video. I think my next one's going to be something travel related. Um, if not, you'll certainly hear from me when I vlog on my travels next month, which is very exciting and I'm going to be doing it with my best friend Leanne. So you can expect some swearing. Anyway, if you liked this video, thumbs up. If you didn't, you can always give me a thumbs down. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, do subscribe um, because every subscription that comes through encourages me to actually do something with this channel. Um, yeah, that's all I've got to say. See you again. Bye!